Alright you guys, so week one I lost a total of four pounds and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what I did and a little bit of my struggles, my thoughts and just pretty much everything overall. I feel like um, I try to stress this so much in every video and I, keep, I think I'm gonna keep stressing it that obviously losing weight is not easy. I am not new to this. I have been trying to lose weight for years and years and years. I remember um, a very long time ago when I graduated high school um, I wasn't overweight I don't think I've ever been overweight like in my middle school high school years college years like I was never overweight but I did weigh a little bit more than I wanted to weigh so um, I wanted to lose a couple pounds and I actually ended up losing 30, 30 pounds before going into college and um, I kept the weight off for a couple of years and then slowly I started gaining more weight and more weight and more weight so my weight gain wasn't from one day to the other from one month to the other i know that sometimes it happens that way for people um my my weight gain has been literally throughout the years since i since i was in my early 20s now that i am 31 literally the, the past 10 years have been like a fluctuation of gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, um, but more so gaining than losing. So anyways, um, because I obviously started gaining a lot of weight and I was actually at my heaviest when I found out I was pregnant with my first uh, son, um, I was 183 pounds, which is crazy because that was the exact weight that I was at um, the second time around that I got pregnant with my newest baby. I was also 183 pounds, and that has been the heaviest that I've ever weighed without being pregnant, obviously, um, because when I'm pregnant, I obviously weigh a lot more than that, but without being pregnant or anything, my highest weight has been 183 pounds, and for me, for my body for my height i am five 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 four five five <laughs> um that's just a lot so um i carry thankfully i carry a lot of my weight like a lot of my weight is distributed throughout my entire body like i don't just carry it in one specific area and i think that's what i guess kind of helps me but i still look heavy obviously i still look um like i can trim down <laughs> a lot going back to the fact that i'm not new at this because i have been gaining weight throughout the years i've also been trying to lose weight i have tried juice cleanses i have tried um veganism i have tried but not only to lose weight but also because i have pcos and i shared you guys have, have been with me for a long time you guys know this i have struggled with pcos um, which is why I was struggling with fertility issues. Like I couldn't get pregnant and that's why I, I went on a TTC journey because I just couldn't get pregnant. Um, but PCOS along with, you know, fertil infertility and all of that, um, a lot has to do with, it has to do a lot with your diet and with your weight. Um, so I tried because I had PCOS and because I was trying to also get pregnant and because I was trying to lose weight, like I was trying to do all these things, um, taking into consideration that I had PCOS, like I tried the gluten-free diet, um, I tried dairy-free diet, I tried, I tried so many things, you guys, oops, my eyes, just, my eyelashes keeps getting stuck, I tried so many things, you guys, that I feel like I have gotten to the point where, like, i been there done that i've tried that um and right now i'm ever since i gave birth to my second baby um i've just been in the mindset where i'm not trying to i'm not trying to eliminate anything a hundred percent from my diet i'm just learning how to eat so this time around is going to be completely different from any other time that i've done this because i've also tried programs i've tried herbalife i've tried programs where it's like you're kind of just um uh laser focus on one thing like no dairy just protein shakes gluten free just like you're so focused on just one thing that the minute that 
for example, me, the minute that I would step out of that, I felt like I'm a failure, I failed, like I ate gluten or I had meat or um, I had chips today, like, and I just, to me, felt like it was a complete sabotage and um, it was just over for me. Like, I would just fall back into those bad habits because I felt like I already ruined it because I went out of that lane that I was supposed to be on. You get me? This time around, this time, sorry, Ethan just came out here in his underwear. <laughs> um, but this time around, it's, it hasn't been that way. Um, like I mentioned in my very first introduction way in video that um, this time it's going to be so much different because I'm not restricting myself from any, from any food groups. I want to be able to enjoy food too and, and you know, eat whatever I want every once in a while. And I feel like the only way that I'll be able to do that and to have like a healthy lifestyle overall is if, if I if I learn how to eat, if I learn to incorporate even bad things every now and then without me freaking out like, oh my gosh, this is gonna sabotage my entire journey, like my entire life change. Like I don't wanna think that way anymore and it hasn't been that way. Um, I am three months, almost four months postpartum now and for the last three months I've been able to lose like 30 pounds now um since i gave birth to to my baby because when i gave birth to him i was 215 pounds and now i am 182 and even though it has been super slow um it i'm learning how to eat like i said like i keep coming back to the same thing but so that is kind of like what you're gonna see in these videos it's gonna be healthy eating it's just gonna be replacements it's also gonna be me still enjoying food because i'm a foodie i love food and that's never gonna change and i feel like i had to change my mindset like that's never gonna change i'm always going to love food obviously um but it's just learning how to give my body food without overindulging like without overdoing it and if it happens once in a while two times a month or whatever like it's gonna be okay and it's okay so um anyways that is what i'm going to be sharing with you guys that is what i'm going to be showing with showing you guys so if i ever do show myself like drinking a margarita for example like i like to have a drink every now and then you guys i am a mom i'm a super busy person now that i'm on this journey like meal prepping like i'm just a busy person <laughs> and every once in a while i want to sit down with my man watch a movie and have a drink and i've learned how to incorporate that into my life while still losing weight at the same time so again i'm not completely cutting out um drinking um uh, you know forever for the rest of my life and i'm not cutting it out right now i'm just obviously cutting back the amount is not going to be like every single weekend or every single week it's just you know every now and then i'm gonna have a drink and you guys might see that every now and then i might go out to dinner we might you know order food or whatever like it's gonna happen like it's life and i feel like that is what's different this time that it's life i'm living life where imperfection exists where um you're going to make mistakes and and it's gonna be okay and i feel like as long as my, i have the right mindset and as long as i say for example um this week i was able to lose the four pounds and i'm not saying that i ate like impeccable no like so anyways, I wanted to just make sure that I talked to you guys about that because I definitely don't want you to get the wrong idea about this and I definitely don't want you to, to think that um, I'm over here eating like fruits and vegetables 24-7 to lose weight. That's not how it is. That's not how it's going to be. That's not realistic. That's not sustainable. And the way that I want to lose weight this time around out of all the times that I try to do this is in a sustainable way, a way where I can actually um, live like this for the rest of my life. I can actually live, you know, taking care of my body, but still enjoying food and still having moments where I don't care about calories, where I don't care about um, what I'm putting in my mouth, um, where I don't care how many calories I had in that one meal. Like, like that's what it's gonna be about and that's where obviously i want to get uh, that's where i want to get to i feel like i'm on my way there but i'm not 100 percent fully there so that's what this journey is for you guys are gonna 
see it all. You're gonna go through the entire thing with me. And the, like I said, like I mentioned in my uh, description about these videos, like you're gonna see my ups, my downs, when I mess up, when I reach my milestones, when I lose weight, when I don't. Um, I wanna be able to share all of that with you guys. And yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to share recipes with you guys. Like all, I'm, all, I'm always thinking about how I can cut back on calories on my favorite meals. Like, you know, I love Mexican food, obviously. I'm Mexican and I, I want to learn how to recreate um, bomb Mexican food. But with obviously us Mexicans, we cook with a lot of oil, a lot of oil. Um, and we eat a lot of flour tortillas, like a lot of things that are just obviously going to rack up on the calories. Anyways, this whole thing kind of already is um, a little too long now, but I just wanted to make sure you guys know what to expect from these videos, from this new journey. So now I'm going to show you the difference between the first week and the second week. One thing that I do want you guys to keep in mind and I don't know if this is going to be an issue. I really don't. But I do have an umbilical hernia that it pops up. Like it pops out even when I'm not full. When I'm not, I don't have food in my stomach. Like it's just, all. I feel like it's just always there. Some days you can see it more. Some days you can see it less. So hopefully that doesn't affect like my before and after pictures. Um, my progress pictures. Hopefully that doesn't affect it because sometimes I do get bloated around that area. And even if like for example this week um, the scale says that I lost 4 pounds. Um, it's not like a huge difference where you're going to see the pictures like oh my god it's a huge difference. But in my tummy area I feel like you're always going to be able to see that bulge. So um, yeah I don't know. Hopefully as we go like the weight the weight is more noticeable like around my arms around my legs around like my back and all of that and not so much on my stomach because the hernia you know it's just there like i still don't know if i'm gonna get it repaired but every time i see i take progress pictures and every time i see it i'm just like ugh, like i wish i knew what my stomach looked like like without this bulging out you know but anyways um yeah i'm gonna show you guys the progress pictures for week one and yeah, thank you guys all so much for being here, for going on this new journey now with me. If you're just trying to become a better version of yourself health-wise, jump on this journey with me. Like, let's do this together. Um, let's help keep each other accountable. And let's just do it once and for all. I mean, I've been trying to transform my body for the longest. And I'm just like, now it's the time. It's now or never. I am no longer trying to conceive a, a baby right now i'm literally just focused on me for once like i'm not focused on trying to get pregnant i'm not trying i'm not focused on anything else except losing weight and becoming the better version of myself but so, uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna show you my progress pictures and then i will see you guys on the next episode which would be and i don't know what to call these i don't know if i should call it like part one part two like i want to i want you guys to be able to distinguish like my weight loss journey videos versus like my day in the life like my mom videos like re other vlogs that i post on here i want you guys to be able to distinguish these videos so that's why i'm even making the thumbnails um a different color so that you guys know like the purple ones are pretty much just all about the weight loss like they're easy to they're easy to go to like those videos are easy to find um but what do you guys think i don't know i kind of just named it episode one episode two you know just like that because this is kind of like a weight loss series so um i think that's what i'm gonna do but i'll see you guys on my next update